Hello folks, this is the first question I am dealing after this May June paper 1 exam. Uh, so, uh, I'd like to start fresh, we can't rest for many days. So this question belongs to 2012 October November paper 1 1 and the question number is 23. It says that three springs are arranged vertically as shown, as shown P and Q and a parallel and with that arrangement this uh, uh, spring R is in series. Springs P and Q are identical, identical, and have spring constant K. So it has got K and it has got K as well. Uh, spring R has a spring constant 3K. So it's a stronger spring, let us say, tighter spring. What's the increase in the overall length of the arrangement when the force W is applied as shown? So this is the force R weight W applied here. So uh, we have to find uh, the overall uh, constant uh, constant k total and then we can go for the increase in length so uh, this k and k is in series so the combination of k and k is equal to 2k so the now the spring acts as a uh, combination of this spring with a spring constant 2k and then this spring of a spring constant 3k so it is 3k it is 2k so k total k total should be equal to uh, 2k into 3k divided 2k plus 3k so many people uh, when i dealt with similar questions uh, they asked me how does uh, this relation come into existence so it comes with this relation so 1 by k total 1 by k total is equal to 1 by 2k plus 1 by 3k so uh, with that we can definitely arrive at this so if i take the lcm and then make take it reciprocal then i get this so it is a 6k square by 5k which gives us 6k by 5 so this is the k total so now the relationship between the force uh, extension and k will be equal to equal to k total k total into the extension x so x should be equal to w divided this k total and if i use this value over here if i write the value here it will be equal to uh, w by uh, k total is equal to 6k by 5 equally equal to 5w by 6k so this is the overall extension of the system so if you go through the answers if you go through the answers uh, then the choice number a should be the correct answer Choice A should be the correct answer.